Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gadsden, Alabama. Well, we're right next to Gadsden in Atala. Beautiful little town, but we're going to be in Gadsden within, within a few minutes, basically. We're outside of Jack's, but if you go to Alabama, get a Jack's. They have the best sweet tea you'll ever have uh, from a Shane restaurant. And also, they have a number eight chicken sandwich, the best chicken sandwich you're ever going to eat from a drive through place. So we're going to go through the unfortunate and high crime rate city of Gadsden in a minute. But I want to start the video here in Atala, which is right next to it. Uh, my greetings to the beautiful people of Atala. Um, this town has a nice little Latin restaurant. Um, it's, it says it's Cuban, but it's really like Colombian Latin mix. Good restaurant. We loved uh, when we lived in Alabama. Come up here just for that. Um, but unfortunately for the good people of Atala, the good, friendly, nice people of Atala, their town is right next to Gadsden. Which is now, I read the comments, and that video did incredibly well. Um, and in fact, I'll drive right through a toss so you guys can see it. The downtown's right here. Uh, I'll show you this little beautiful town. And, and, and the thing about uh, Alabama is, like, you know, we just looked up the statistics for the state for crime, and Anniston and Gadsden are the absolute worst in the entire state. So here's the city of Gadsden, it has the highest crime rate in the state. And yet the people that live here go on my video to tell me it's a great place. You live in one of the most dangerous states in the country and in the most dangerous city, the most dangerous. And then you got, you're competing with places like Montgomery. You're competing, competing with places like Montgomery and Birmingham. And you still beat them. You know how hard it is to beat, you know how hard it is to beat Birmingham at crime? That's what Gadsden does. But the people here, they're not really... Uh, it is a Sunday, so it's normal for these stores. To, this is Alabama on a Sunday. Everybody's repenting right now. There was one store that was open. Yeah. Oh, bless their heart. Open on a Sunday. Yeah. There must, not, there must be new to this. So anyways, um, this is a beautiful little city here. But unfortunately, we're going to jump over to Gadsden. You're going to see the highest crime rate city in the state. In Etowah County which is where we are now, is actually, is it a, a TV series about being in prison or something? Right, that's filmed here. Let's go over there. We're gonna hop on over to uh, Gadsden and show you guys, we're in Etowah County, I'm sure you've seen the prison TV show. You know, like, it's like Cops is filmed here. That prison show about being in prison is filmed here. Um, Meth Mountain was filmed out here. You know, Every TV show about addiction, crime, prisons is based out of this area. That would kind of give you an indication that maybe there's a problem. Um, maybe, but when you look at the comments on our video, the people are like, I live in gas and doll. It's safe, doll. Ain't nobody to rob me, doll. Yeah, because you have nothing to steal. Anyways, read some of the comments you get a chance, baby, about Gadsden. And, and, and again, it's Aniston and Gadsden are the, the most criminal cities in Alabama, which is one of the most criminal states in the country. So obviously you have a problem. In fact, Birmingham has the second highest M rate in the country at 72 of 100,000. Only St. Louis and Detroit have had higher uh, M rates than that. But no, no they, they, to the locals, there's nothing wrong and uh, the people of Atala, they don't even go to Gadsden. If you live in here in Atala, you don't go to Gadsden. You know, like, you don't go over there. You stay over here where it's nice and safe. So let's hop on over there and show you guys a whole different world of crime, poverty, addiction, and YouTube comments trying to justify the place that sucks. Kitty, you in there? Yeah. What are some of the comments these people have said about Gadsden? Lies, really, outright lies. We're heading south on the 441, right? So, I think I need a map here. I have no idea where I'm going. I think I gotta take a left here. Can you see the map real quick? I need the map. I need the map. I gotta figure out where I'm going. Okay. Map, quick, quick, quick. Where are we going? I'll just keep going here. Who's up in front? Huh? Huh? What? We're supposed to turn left. But you don't know that because you're a big bear white looking person. 
So, all right, guys, make sure the doors are locked. You lock your doors? Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure the doors are locked. Yeah. Always make sure your doors are locked when going in the gas. Yeah. These people are hungry, desperate, delusional. We're about to see. Uh, well, if you watch, uh, what's that prison show I watch where the people are in prison? What's it called? Like the prison thing? It's like a prison, like Etowah County Jail. They're like on. A, they have their own TV series where they show people getting like. Uh, you know what happens in jail? I can't really talk about it on YouTube. All right, so here we are. We're heading into Godston. I'm trying to find the name of the TV show. Sixty Days In. Yeah, Sixty Days In. It's filmed here. It was six seasons of crime. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, there's a reason why you end, you didn't end up on, like, Traveler USA's best, top ten best beach towns. You ended up on, on Cops and, and, and Meth Mountain and, and, and 60 Days. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Gadsden, Alabama, and it was, the last season they did was in, in this right, county. Okay, so tell me some of the comments. Go back to YouTube. And without power tripping about being able to read something, read some of these comments about what it's like, what they think. Is, it's because they're like, oh, we would never do that. We? we, we? No. You must be confused. It's like, why not accept you have a... First of all, you, you can't really deny that it has the highest crime rate in the state of Alabama. In the state of Alabama... Let's let these folks speak for themselves. All right, let's let them... Yeah, you're right. Let's let's give them an opportunity. Let's. You're right. You're right. Let's give them an opportunity to explain themselves. You're abs let's let's do that. Let's give them an opportunity to. Yeah, you go ahead. I live, yeah, let's give them an. I lived here let, all my life, and I'm 48 years old. Oh my From gosh! This, during the pandemic, if you don't like our hood town, then get oh, out. Oh no! Hold on, hold on. Stop. Pause. Stop. Pause. 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 It's not the. It's not a lockdown right now. Look, there's nobody here yeah. in front of us. So that's already invalidated. Keep going. They said stop in those projects you just entered and sit there. Okay, I'm gonna sit there. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the projects. And Someone I'm gonna sit said there. come back to the hood, fool. Come back to the hood, dog. You my hood, dog. You my hood, dog. Hey, why you my hood, dog? So okay, this so is now what I have someone to. Someone said. So this, they said go to the projects and sit there. I'm gonna go sit in the projects. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing all red too, in a red car. This can't go well. Well, this person says... Katie, hold on, hold on, stop. Katie this morning. Hey, honey. Is it going to be a problem if I put you in all red today? I'm like, sure, babe. Don't even worry about it. We love in Gadsden. Oh, my hands have to be on the steering wheel. I'm yeah. Sorry. I almost fell asleep while driving. My car, okay, even the car's let's like... let's let these folks speak for themselves. I agree. Let's give them an opportunity. Great city. In America... Uh, hold on. In America, we give people an opportunity. You idiot. You have to let me speak. I don't want to let you do nothing. Great city if you are a senior citizen. The main <laughs> the great reason city. places like this can get, can't get ahead. Too many people defend this BS. <laughs> okay, this is a great place for a senior citizen. Oh my gosh. To get robbed? Look at this. It's a ghost town. And this is and this is not... They're like, oh, good to the lockdown. There's no oh, lockdown. Oh, it gets better. Now. It gets better. All right. You have no right to disrespect yes, Gadsden like Gadsden. this. Screw Gadsden. I live Screw in Gadsden town. my whole life. Screw your town. I've had a great life. No, you haven't. You I don't God. disrespect my <laughs> city, <laughs> sir, <laughs> because <laughs> you don't want to get finished. Stop. I ask you to stop, stop. I have to answer, okay? When I ask you to stop, shut your yeah. mouth. I warn you about I warn you about power tripping during the video, man. If I ask you to shut up, shut up. Now read that back carefully. When you're slowly read that back. What is it they said? You have no right to disrespect yep, Gadsden. I have the right to tell Gadsden to shove it. Because I am paying for my own gas, my own camera. If you don't like it, make your own video. Keep going, Katie. Mm -hmm. Like this. I live in Gadsden my whole life. Stop. I'm sorry to hear that. I really lament that you've lived here your whole life. And I've had a great life. <laughs> All these people they're funny though i'll give you that they're funny they're funny folks man they're, they're they crack me up i don't disrespect my city sir because oh. you don't want to get physical with me oh threats now <laughs> oh, oh they got a threat man hold on let's call the sheriff now oh you don't have a sheriff oh okay yeah this is like a ghost hunting one see hold on when you make threats 
And you're already showing me. When you make a threat like that. Yeah. You're already showing me. A prime example why your city sucks, because we go all over America, and we blasphemy country. We've blasphemy dozens of cities, and from that, yeah. we, there's 2,500 videos on our channel. And if I don't like a city, I'll say whatever the crap I want about it. Mm -hmm. When I go to a city and I get threats like that, that already plainly illustrates the type of foolery that you have in your town. Mm -hmm. Continue, my love. This is Stop. another person. Stop. I just want to stop you to show you the charge. Keep going. You're the one who has the power to break problem, Jose. <laughs> uh, sobering being a resident of Gadsden. Always healthy to see the truth of how outsiders perceive our problems. Stop. Absolutely correct. <laughs> Here's a smart person. This person, you hear what this person said? It's good to see how an outsider perceives our problem. Now, that's a smart person. They're saying, hold on now. Here's somebody... Who travels America and they, they see all types of places and they think there's something wrong here hum that's what a smart person sounds like continue living here day to day you can lose sight of how much things need to improve here yeah you get blinded it's the residents who are the problem here Ooh, that's a strong comment okay yeah they have no vision Mm -hmm. and work to keep others from succeeding. That is very true. And that type of... Hold on that comment right there is not only very true for Gadsden, but it's very true for many of the places in Alabama that are struggling. The people that live here are trying to hold you back. They don't want you to succeed because you, your success illustrates their failures. And that is unfortunately a huge part of... Uh, uh, of uh, what's going on in Alabama, not just Gadsden, and not just Alabama, just all poor places. I gotta go sit with these people. Can okay, I just go sit in their porch with them? No. Let's see if they'll let me. Or, I wouldn't try. I will, I'm trying. I'm doing. I'm gonna, I gotta sit on the porch with some people and see if they run away from us. I gotta go sit there. Yeah. Right, let's see. Okay. How you doing, sir? Southern life. We're pretty much talking crap about Gadsden. So, I mean, but we travel all across America. So, y'all have a beautiful day, though, man. Yeah. All right, bro. All right, so they dared me to sit down on the projects. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> He's cracking up. <laughs> He's cracking up. He said, go to 6th Street. He says, go to the projects yeah. on 6th Street. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, there it is. So, yeah. It, and that's the thing. Like, it's good people out here, man. It's not... People like they get mad and oh, they're crash talking or tired. I'm like, bro, there's good people everywhere. Everywhere, there's good people yeah. everywhere, man. See, they got a kick out of it. They love it. They're cracking up. You know, yeah. very respectful. I walked up to their front porch and sat on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's their that's their that's their space, man. And they were friendly and nice and courteous. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um. And that's the reality. Like, there's good people everywhere. Yeah. In fact, just looking at some of these comments, I, I see intellect. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what people don't understand is exactly what that subscriber just said, which is you have situations mm -hmm. where you need an outsider to come in and say, this can be better. You know? But there's people that are never going to let you succeed. They're never going to let you get ahead and, and, and whatever, you know? Um... But let's keep reading the comments. Gadsden isn't a bad place Birmingham is. Um, okay, so recently for 2021, now if you don't believe me, you can look it up. I don't know where 6th Street is. We got to find it. You see, yeah. go to 6th Street. I guess it's a lot worse there. Yeah, the next comment is about that. Oh, really? What did it say? 
from the time you stopped on the 6th Street Hump oh. until you passed the big U-Haul sign on Kyle Avenue. You were in a very bad part of town. Crimes. Okay. So where's the street at 6th Avenue? Where are we at now? We're on 5th? We're not done. Carjackings. Autumn? Yeah, I get you. It's yeah. dangerous. Um, <laughs> where can we go to the 6th Street? Where's the 6th Street? Cause we, went to, we were all over the city. They said Kyle Avenue? 6th Street and Kyle. Find it. There, here we go. Um, is it near where we were or is it in the other projects? Is it up off? I'm not seeing Cal. I'm seeing 6th Street. Okay. No North? That's what he said. Yeah, 6th Street North. He said that was about really bad. Right. I'm looking where Cal is. But it's awesome. But I found 6th Street. The first time we came here, we had no idea about anything, you know? <laughs> now that we're back, we, we kind of have a better idea based on the comments. Gas and self storage. And let me tell you some, you know, people at Gadsden, um, social media is a very powerful tool. Use it for your advantage. Um, but again, like somebody said, if you got people trying to hold you back mm -hmm. and you go on social media and say your opinion, then it's dangerous. So it's good to have an outsider, somebody who's neutral, come out here and, and see it, you know? Um, a lot of the comments on the Gadsden video were people saying, hey, I left Gadsden. I'm leaving. And this is another problem the city has. When you go back to Wikipedia, can you see their uh, historical information? Okay, if you haven't found it yet, you're not going to find it. Yeah. Um, They're saying 6th and Cal. I'm not finding 6th and Cal. It's probably over here. Yeah. Up in Tuscaloosa. There's another project over here. I think it's worst. 11th. 11th. Here's Cow Street. Yeah. Cow Street comes right here. Okay, I'll find it in a little bit. Let me drive because I, I can't be driving all on the phone. Yeah. Find me, um, what was I saying that you don't need to find? Find me the demographics again for the city and, and show me historically the last three decades what the population has done. Okay. Hold on. There's a cop I need to drive here. But like the person said, you know, sit down on the projects and meet the people. I know there's great people everywhere, man. Yeah. There's amazing people everywhere, man. I'm not saying the people suck, but I, I'm just saying like, as a city, businesses, road conditions, um, you know, the, the, you know, crime rates and all that. You know, I, I just, I couldn't believe how hard of a time people had accepting. Like the reason we came to Gadsden is because we looked yeah. up what is the worst city in Alabama. And according to crime statistics and all that, it was this city. That's why we came here. because, And that's why the title was that. Because that's what, according to the internet, you know. Yeah. And those were statistics. And I didn't make that up. That's what the internet said. That's why we came here and we put that title in that video. Because that's what the internet said. In the last three decades, what has the population done? Okay. So, in 2000, which is the last, which is the earliest we have it. Yeah. The 2000 census revealed that 62.7% W... No, 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 no. You don't, you don't listen. You don't listen. You want to be a realtor, you don't listen. What did I ask you to do? Give me the demographics for what? Gadsden. Po population. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not for race, for population. Okay, okay, so we have more. There's North 6th Street. This is a really bad one. Mm -hmm. I just have a hood sense. I didn't even need Google Maps. I was just like, I know where the hood is. I want to find it. Currently, there's less than 34,000. Okay. In the peak, there was... Katie, Katie. In the last three decades... Mm -hmm. Okay, in the last three decades... Listen to what I asked you. In the last... Because you want to be a realtor, right? Mm -hmm. You want to be a realtor, you want to sell burgers and McDonald's. In the last three decades... What has the population done in the last three decades? So, start in 1980... It was at 47,000. Okay. And what is it now? 33,000. Okay. So they've lost a huge percent. I'm, I'm not going to say it out here. <laughs> like, <laughs> they've lost a huge percentage of their population mm -hmm. in the matter of... In the matter of decades. People, that's not normal. So the people that are still trying to dispute that that's normal or whatever 
dude, that's not normal. You're sick. Listen, now read those numbers again. 1970, how many people? 53,000. In what year? 53,000 53, people? 1970. 1970. You asked for 70, so I gave you 70. Okay. 1970, how many people? 53,000. Okay, and what's the most recent? 33,000. In what year? 2020. Are you hearing that? Was it higher before that? The peak was in 1960. Which was? 58,000. You've lost almost half of your population. Yeah, there's a problem. Look, let's put the games aside. At the start of the video, I did some clickbait stuff just to get you guys rounded up, you know? Because we gotta get comments on YouTube. If you don't clickbait, you're not gonna get views. And if you wanna be a YouTuber and you're you know, from Gadsden, learn the lesson, you have to clickbait people a little bit. Let's have a real intellectual conversation now, okay? Have a real conversation. Your town's lost half its population. You have the second highest crime rate in the state. Yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, we got to talk about this. And there's still great people left here in your city. But you have to talk about it. Because if you don't admit there's a problem, you're never going to be able to fix it. How are you going to improve? Uh, my brand new car. <laughs> Just bought it. It's red, it's pretty, Get over it. Move okay. on. Okay, I'll buy another one. Okay, so how are you gonna improve? Let's get the crap out of this neighborhood. Yeah. How are you gonna improve? It's actually pretty quiet out here, but I'm not gonna send nobody's porch. That's disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see anybody outside I can show with. Do you see anybody out here? Yeah, it looks like there's some vacant there's buildings. There's one dude over here on his phone. But we did it once. We don't need to keep doing it. No. Especially, I, I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. I just uh, don't want to do it. <laughs> well, the Greyhound bus station's over. All right, so check it out, guys. <laughs> yes, your town's lost half its population. That is not normal. <laughs> That's not normal for a town to lose half its population. It's not normal to have the second highest crime rate in a state that's got places like Birmingham. Excuse me. This is like Pritchard. That's some good competition right there. So, yeah, there's a problem. Does that mean everybody in your town is horrible? Absolutely not. Why do you do that? Delete that. Now our cars linked in with our technology. Our cars linked in with our across the street that way okay yeah there's a problem guys that's why we came to your town initially because we were exploring alabama and we we're like okay this place has the highest crime rate doesn't that, that that is a problem and if you don't admit there's a problem then you're never gonna improve you know you're, you're never gonna improve if you don't admit there's a problem does that mean everybody in your town sucks absolutely not look we used to come from montgomery oh crap we used to come from montgomery and what was, do you know the name of the restaurant we used to come here? What's the name of the restaurant we used to go to? Hector's Kitchen. Hector's Kitchen. It's in Atala, right next to, it's, it's right, 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 a few minutes from here. Hector's Kitchen. We would come all the way from Montgomery to this restaurant here. Do you remember how the service was, Katie? Spectacular. Spectacular people. We enjoyed coming out here. Great people. So, no, we're not trying to trash talk your town, but I do want you to know that, yeah, there's definitely problems that you need to address as a city. And, you know, what are the first thing people do in my comment section is, oh, it's the governor's fault, it's the, it's the city this, it's, it's the mayor. No, no, it's the people that live here that got to say, okay, how are we going to turn our little town into something better? When we start a business, can we stop hating on people like right now? If a rapper came out of the city, right? With how quick before he got shot? Like a week? <laughs> if a rapper wanted to run out somebody in the projects, had a, the ability to rap and they started rapping and represent their city, could they can they walk on time without getting shot? Probably not. As soon as they got some fame, somebody would get jealous and come whack them, you know? So what what are you doing as a city? They say, okay, how can we change this? 
Look at Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama was nothing. We just came from Huntsville. We were out. I was out at 11 o'clock at night by myself, walking through Huntsville at night. The reels on my show. Um, you know, it was just a little town, but now it's it went in the right direction. But the person who said, "Look at this. There's like nobody out here. It is a Sunday." Oh, there's a car moving right there. The Taming uh, Yarn Tea Boutique. All these little businesses here. You know? Are you supporting all these little businesses that are here in downtown? Do you go for a walk downtown? What do you do for, you know? Like, how can you make the place better? It's it's the individuals that are here that are going to ultimately make this place better or worse. You know? And, uh, well, keep going through the comments. Let's keep going through them. And then I'm going to roll up out here. we got to head towards, we're not going to go to Jacksonville. We're going to go to uh, Atala. I'm not Atala, um, Aniston. We're going to do Aniston. And from Aniston, we're going to head to Auburn. We're not going to be able to do Jackson Road, man. Okay. And if we do, it's just to troll them, and what's the point, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we're just here to troll. There's so many people not... in this town, so. Huh? There's only so many people it's in this town. It's a small place. Yeah. I can't believe how sensitive they were, though. I know. We got one subscriber that, that's really proud of being from there, though. Mm -hmm. So I feel bad trolling his town. But Dude. in the case of Huntsville, they went from like they've gained fifty thousand people mm -hmm. in our lifetime. Yeah. These yeah, so it's a, it's a different. It's going in a different direction. Mm -hmm. Like there is possibility to change a town. Oh yeah. But well, whoa, there you know, not everybody is working towards harm. Mm -hmm. Those people working towards improvement. Mm -hmm. All right, so. We understand Alabama now. When we first made that video, we were totally new. We had no idea. We got ourselves in a world of trouble. Read some more comments. Okay, let me go back to that page. Um, Didn't something horrendous just happen here in Godson recently? On the news? I'm gonna, there's a comment here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to clean up your language, but I've lived here 52 years, and it's even more messed up than you showed. Wow. Okay, keep reading. Language that bad that you gotta pause before you can say it? Um, I, I, I think I'm gonna have to delete a comment that I just saw. Uh, is this guy still on this side too, or is this the other city? This looks pretty cool. Alabama is just a utilitarian place. All you see is like signs and. Is that a Pontiac 6000? What is that? Dude, I haven't seen this car in years. Look at this. Wow. It's such a shame that you miss the beautiful parts of our city. Any town will have ruined there. Ruined down. No. Stop. Every town does not have ruined areas. <laughs> For example, I live, I live in the, I'm from Naples, Florida. Naples, Florida does not have ruined or abandoned areas. Naples, Florida, the bad neighborhood that used to be the poorest neighborhood... A house in there right now is going for half a minute. So, no, that every town isn't bad. That is a misunderstanding. You need to travel more and see more of the world because every city does not have bad neighborhoods. Maybe so. sometime come back and film First Friday events. We don't do events on this channel because they're one-time things. I want to make a video today that's getting views mm -hmm. 20 years from now. Or when the city hosts dinner on the bridge overlooking the Coosa River. I'm sure you guys could have done that. Why don't you, why don't you upload it? You're the one who lives here. Drive past Gadsden State Junior College. Oh, a junior college. see the neighborhoods there. Yes, we can use better paying jobs here in the city, but housing is affordable. Hey, look, there's a Panera over here. That's good. Yeah. Looks like they're going to pave this road. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Aspen Dental. Panera Bread. On the dealership. Okay. Their whole comment is about events to uh, events. attend for free. No. Yeah. Start record. You live here, right? Start recording them and upload them. Somebody might shoot you after a while because as soon as somebody sees you getting fame on the internet, they're going to try to, get, you know, they're going to get jealous and they're going to get rid of you. But, you know, in the meantime, you can enjoy it. This one's hilarious. <laughs> wouldn't even get his girl coffee. Shake my head. Oh, they were mad because I wouldn't buy you coffee. Yeah. Believe me, that's not the worst thing I've done to her. Mm -hmm. If you saw how big she wore, 
be like, she don't need no more coffee. She don't need anything. She just needs to go. I just go wrong, women. You guys didn't even scratch the surface. You really need to ride with someone from Gadsden, Etowah County. It would be fun, and I wish I had that much time on my hands, but I don't. Yeah. We we wake up. We we're, we're doing like 500 miles a day when we travel across America. We don't have enough time to hang out with y'all, but you know. Someone I'm, says say Detroit one more time, and I'm heading in the road looking for your SUV. Oh, so that's a threat. Yeah. They're looking for us to hurt us. See, that's a problem. See that type of person right there. Mm -hmm. That's why your town is, is in bad shape. Like. How the crap is a YouTuber gonna come to your city and then you're gonna, it doesn't matter what they're saying, how are you gonna make a threat like that? Mm -hmm. So those are the types of people that hurt your community, making threats to people needlessly, and planting fear and, and, and uh, dude, I, I envy this lady. She's in there drinking Starbucks in a 2.5 Chevy from like, mm -hmm. <sighs> Our beautiful city, a city of champions. Champions? Who's from here? Hank Aaron Jr. Riley down there? I don't even know. That was their comment. The city mm. of champions. Okay. Champions at crime? <laughs> and making threats and intimidation? Are we still in Godson or is this in our city? Because we're on the other side of our... Not sure. Not sure. You're not even in Gadsden. Oh, you think because you set down the projects, you're bad now. No, we're still in Gadsden. Oh, cool, cool. Queen's Beauty. See, that's nice. I'm like, dude, this lady is awesome. <laughs> She's still driving around this 19... Look, that thing is solid. The metal's not even rusted. That thing is solid, dude. I can see, like... I moved away from Gadsden and never looked back. Okay. Yeah. Don't blame you. <laughs> if you got people threatening you... Talk about you in my hood, dog. This is not an ap accurate representation of my city. Yes, it is. It's my interpretation of your city. Mm -hmm. Everybody's entitled to an opinion. Every single one of us is entitled to an opinion. That was mine. Gatson could be a good spot for big companies. Look how happy this lady is. Yeah. She's literally singing in her car. She's in her old piece of crap car, and she's so happy she's singing. Mm -hmm. She doesn't care that it's a piece of crap. She's happy. No, nobody's gonna take that away from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's happy. She's yeah. singing. You might see somebody in a brand new car and they're angry and flicking people off. She's happy in her celebrity. The, they're literally saying how this could be really good. What? Gaston could be a good spot for big companies. It's not far from Birmingham, Chattanooga, there you go. Oh, there you Atlanta, go. Huntsville. A lot of trucking hubs could call that home, bring warehouse jobs and trucking jobs. The town has a lot of potential. Now the city has a lot of has to do things to attract a lot of the potential. More projects over here? Are you kidding me? Well, you are in Alabama. It's easy for mom and pop spots downtown to open. They could make tax incentives for a new business and big See, companies. See this person here? They have a brain. Yeah. So you got people here that they got a brain on their head. They're just like, okay, you could do this, you could do that, you could make money like this. You got people here with a brain, with ideas. Mm -hmm. Move somewhere else, dang it! <laughs> Get yourself out of this place. I've been here most of my life, so like, and it's not a place for Californians. Look at these projects. Oh man! And let me tell you guys something about this particular video we're filming right now. Mm -hmm. You might think this video is pointless, Gadsden, but mark my words: mm -hmm. in the future, when these projects are knocked down. Mm -hmm. You're gonna wish somebody had done what, I, what I'm doing right now, mm -hmm. because there's you're gonna miss these projects. I hope somebody's gone in here. Tienda La Esperanza. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I can't have much there's a little store here called Tienda La Esperanza. I'm not be able to like that's like the, the driveway's way too thick. But uh, you're gonna wish, Gadsden, that somebody look at these projects here. Has anybody in this city put this on YouTube? Because one day these projects are gonna be gone, and you're gonna wish that somebody had put this on YouTube because. There's people that grew up in these buildings and they're gonna have childhood memories. And the only thing left of these projects is gonna be this YouTube video. And then you're gonna wish I had came to your city and done a video because nobody else did. Yeah. And if you live here in Gadsden and you wanna make a YouTube video that's significant, that's gonna be around for many years, get permission to go in here. I can't do it because I, I don't know anybody here. I don't know who works for the housing authority. I'm supposed to keep up and see if I can just turn around. 
Am I gonna? Is the car gonna bottom out? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wish I could just pull in back and turn around. Obviously, you can't go in here because it's you know. But if you live here, mm -hmm. um, you can get permission from the city. Uh, get permission from the city or something. You might know somebody if you're from here who works with the housing. You know, you can get permission to go in here and uh, and make a video in here. And your video will be because these thousands of people live in these communities, and they're gonna miss it one day. Trust me. Imagine if somebody had done a, dry, a walk around video of uh, the Iroquois housing projects and now that they're on. So if you want to do something significant for your community, you want to start on YouTube and from Gadsden, start here. Get permission. Don't do it illegally. Get permission uh, from the city or whatever. And um, go into these projects. Go through the work. Do the footwork. You know, do something for your city. That's going to be remembered. Someone spotted their ex. No, oh, that's my ex-girlfriend. She was... She was <laughs> Oh, that girl, she always sleeping around. Look at her parking in front of Larry's house. <laughs> yeah, that girl, she been passing around more. <laughs> There's a La Esperanza here. Is this a Spanish neighborhood? Because for there to be a small little... To look at these projects, it's like... Oh, go figure. The city lost half its population zone. So. Look at these projects. They have like an eight-foot fence around it. It's crazy. Someone said, I was born in Gadsden. 30 years ago, it was a booming town. Yeah. Once the steel plant closed years ago, and then the Goodyear good tire. Year, yeah, we, we, last year, its future is looking bleak. Didn't so. say no trespassing. You can go in there. Mm -hmm. Let me see, turn around and go in. It seemed like it was up a hill, though. Yeah. I, no, I'll get in. I'm sure I can turn around. Yeah. It's, it's just so neat. You know, as an outsider, it's so neat to see a city that has this much abandoned stuff it's incredible that's what type of stuff that blows up on youtube abandoned buildings but get permission you know get permission from somebody i mean if you live in this town it's a small place you'll know somebody who knows somebody and you send a letter to the city and hey i want to make a youtube video anyway somebody will have to walk around with you might have to give somebody a hundred bucks give them a hundred bucks hey i'll give you a hundred bucks if you come with me on this you know go in there do your video and show those projects Walk around the inside. Make it a 20-minute video. Show the inside of those projects, inside the buildings. Show the graffiti. How it, but go in there and show that, man. Like, if I lived here, I'd, I'd make the time to do that. Put that on YouTube, and uh, that'll be a great first video for your YouTube channel. You know, Urban Decay. You know, and uh, just make sure nobody hurts you after you're famous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's really the real catchphrase there. Alabama. I think we're eventually gonna lose the front bumper on this car. I can't believe how many times we've hit it already. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I didn't say those fence fence, really. Nope, you can go through here. But see, they've had a fence in the whole thing. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I haven't seen any signs by there. Uh, they had the fence in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's wild. It's like an eight foot fence all the way around it. Not as it's a speed bump, but it's not no, it's not marked. I think you're supposed to mark speed bumps so people can see them. Nope. Not in Alabama. Let's turn around and get out of here. Okay, that was one of the comments. Yeah, I think the fact that it's gated on the outside might be an indication to get out. Mm -hmm. Let's get out. We don't want to upset George Wallace. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there is one in this town. Oh, yeah. Okay. GPS on... Um, uh, uh, what's the next one? Anderson? Now we're going to Aniston, another city that also has really high crime. And that, uh, any more comments you want to read while we're here? That was it. Alright, not bad. Alright, so there it is. We're back Head in Gadsden. Head southwest on Starnes Park toward Litchfield Avenue. Then turn left onto Litchfield Avenue. People are grilling and barbecuing. Turn hey, left onto Litchfield Avenue. Enjoy life, Avenue. people. Um, be successful and, um, it is definitely difficult. Is that a white girl in Subaru going into the projects? Apparently. White girl in a Subaru going into the projects. <laughs> Look at that, just a tire in the quarter mile, road. slight right That's onto sad. US 431, southeast is Macon Boulevard. Is garbage there or is it just sitting there? Hard to tell. <laughs> okay, let's get about here. <laughs> yeah, these projects, man, that's so cool. 
if I lived here and I don't have a YouTube channel, if you've been thinking about doing it, that's a great start to your channel, man. And don't go trespassing. Get permission. Get permission to go in there. And if they say no, bother them every single week. Every single week, send them a letter. Send them a, you know, send them a gift card until they, until they's like, dang it, all right, I'll, I'll let you get in there, you know. And the same thing for that fire wood plant or Slight whatever, the right fire stone. US 431, you know, get permission and, and get get written permission via email, not just verbal permission. Oh yeah, sure, you can do it. No, get in an email. So have, send me an email. Continue I had an email called, South, you know, Alabama miles. Historic Society or something. I don't know what the heck I'm going to call your channel. Start your YouTube channel. Send letters to all those people. Until they and get, send so many letters they get tired of dealing with you. And get in there. Go and record inside each one of those big plants. And and don't upload garbage. Just when you upload a video, it's a, a specific video. You know? And you'll start a great YouTube channel. But, you know, I was surprised that, you know, I don't have time to read all the comments for every single... We, we, we have 2,500 videos on our channel. So I don't have time to look at every single video, every single time, every single thing. But it was nice that there were some really intellectual comments in there. There's people in there that are making some good comments. So if you're a young person and you're just trying to figure out what the crap you're going to do with your life, YouTube is a great thing to do. And this area is great for urban exploration. bad at all it's incredible how much public housing there is in Alabama it's like an entire portion of the state's population is like we're going with free money we're just not going to pay rent not, why would you buy a house when you can get one for free from the government I just can't understand how so many people can be of the mindset of just leeching off the system like I, I, I don't be like like if you're born in the projects and all you've seen is people getting food stamps and waiting for the first of the month don't be like that I'm, I'm not saying your people are bad like your parents are still your parents and, and you know your, your family's still your family they're your, you're, they're your people love your people and take care of them don't don't take that characteristic and make it your own. Make hard work your your own legacy. You know what I mean? Working hard, saving money, being an entrepreneur, thinking outside the box, man. There's no excuse today. When you open up a YouTube channel, and I'll tell you guys, I'm a full time YouTuber. It means my entire livelihood comes off of YouTube, and we do cool things like traveling. Okay, my entire livelihood comes off of YouTube right now. Now, when you do that, no, there's 57,000 people subscribed to my channel, and only three of them got more subscribers than me, so it's not easy. Nothing is easy. Don't think it's going to be easy. As a matter of fact, you don't even got to put your face, if you're afraid of putting your face on it, you can explore old buildings without putting your face on it. As long as you got permission in an email, knowing that, you know, you're not going to get in trouble for it. And I say an email because later on somebody could come and say, who did this? You'd be like, this person sent me an email. And then now you send that to a lawyer and you can't get arrested for it. Because there's bad people out there that are going to hate you. Don't think, don't think you're just going to get on YouTube and make a crap load of money. Nobody's going to hate you for it. I mean, you've read, you've read my comments just in this video. There's several, several threats just in one video. Go figure. But I'll tell you this people that are from here I'll go to places and I'll, and, I'll, and, and and you won't get threats it's not every city look at that building mm -hmm. so like, look, look at like, like, there's so much potential in this area if somebody lived here like and they just had a little bit of time look at this building mm -hmm. look how unique this building is like I bet you could do a YouTube video I'll get a hundred thousand views just showing all these cool buildings like look at this that opened in 1963. Look at this that. This is the 1960 style. Yeah, look at this thing. You have content. There's content right here in Alabama mm -hmm. waiting for somebody to make money. And you don't even have to show your face. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to show your voice for people to know who you are. You can just record it and, like, have it be still images. 
You know what I mean? There's potential here. So if you're here in Gadsden, there's there's potential here. You just gotta you gotta know how to you gotta know what you're looking at. You know? So yeah, there's potential here. You just have to think outside the box and always make sure that nobody envious can touch you up.